Hello everybody, it's the B2 and welcome to Applied Energistics and today we are going to deal with smart cables, dense cables and the ME controller. Now you might be thinking B2 what in the world is this big cube of ME controllers doing out here and I'm glad you've asked. This is the maximum size ME controller cube that you're going to build. So if you're going to build a gigantic ME system and connect a bunch of stuff to it, this will be your maximum. It's 7x7x7, seven by seven by seven, and that's the perfect cube. So if I was to go add an 8th controller down here, it would shut it down. What about add an 8th controller up here? Shut it down. Shut it down. What about an 8th controller here? Outside, shut it down. What if I added one on the inside? What do you think will happen? Will it shut it down? No, look at that. So I can just go ahead and add another row of controllers here. Now you see how that works? It's uh, it's within the cube. So anyway, we don't need this many controllers. I'm just showing you how 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven is the tallest size. Now let's take a look at dense cables. Do you see how this dense cable here has 6 of 32 channels running in it? Okay, so these smart cables, 1 of 8, 3 of 8, 1 of 8. So this is connected to the monitor, which is 1. This is connected to all three monitors, one, two, three, and there. Now the bottom ME drives are connected to the smart cable. So if you look, one, two, three, there's a total of six devices. So if I hover over the dense cable, how many devices do you think it will register? Six. Very good. What if I wanted to hook more stuff through here? Let's take a look. What if I wanted three more monitors over here? Let's just say I got a bunch of people working on a group build, and we need more monitors. Okay, so device online, device online, device missing channel. So you can see now it's coming through here. It's maximizing this out, even though it's not registering. But it is registering 8 of 32 there. Hmm. What can we do to make these come online then? Because I'd really like to have these extra monitors. Let's say, let's say we ran another dense cable here. Notice how it's not connecting to the blue cable, but if I ran a blue cable here it would connect to the side very cool if you're gonna be running multiple cables for multiple applications what do you think is gonna happen when I connect this red cable to the back of this ME drive do you think it will pull some of the channels here or do you think it will not share channels on there let's see wow B2 look at that it pulled five channels off of here now there's only four out of there and five out of here so this monitor now pops on. Look at that device online. Okay, well, let's say that I kind of like the way this is set up, so I want to put monitors on the back side of here too. Let's take a look at this. Now it doesn't connect to the blue, so we got channels run beside each other. Really kind of neat here. So let's go ahead and add all these devices on, and these are red because it's a red cable. Now let's take a look. Do you see how this registers 11 of 32 here? And this is 6 of 8. This is just a smart cable, and that's a dense cable. So we've got six channels being used. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 for six monitors. And now look, they all turn on. So I hope this kind of gives you a, a good synopsis of how smart cables and dense cables run together and how the ME controllers go 7x7x7. Seven by seven by seven. Now, you'll probably never use a cube of ME controllers that big, but we're just showing you this just for the explanation purposes. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please hit that subscribe button and have a great day.